Draw the VN and M diagrams for the actually loaded beam. First thing you want to do is draw your free body diagram. This is a very simple free body diagram. I have my two external axial forces and I have AX, AY, and MA at the wall. So your equilibrium tells you that AX has to be 7 to the left. AY of course is equal to 0 because I don't have any vertical forces and MA is also equal to 0. Now break the beam up into pieces. You have three different pieces. You have something that exists before you get to your 5 Newton load at x equals 2. So at this point, n equals 7, pounds, 7 Newtons. V and m are equal to 0. If I go to the next piece, I have 7 Newtons. And now I have to include my 5 Newtons because the 5 Newtons acts at a distance that is included in my free body diagram. So now I've got x between 2 and 5. Put on your internal loads, assumed to act at the centroid of the cross-section. n is now equal to 2 newtons, v and m are 0. Your last free body diagram is for x between 5 and 7. I still have my axial load at the wall. Now I have both of the external loads that are placed on the beam, v, n, and m internal loads placed on your beam with correct sign conventions and now all three of my forces and moments have to be equal to zero. N is equal to zero, so are V and M. So my N diagram, N in Newtons, will go from seven down to two and then down to zero at respectively two, five, and seven meters. Your V diagrams and your M diagrams are uniquely zero.